This video is just a bit of an addendum to a couple previous videos I did where I, I was talking about importing things like explosions, muscle flashes. In this video, I just wanna actually show you this in action, okay? So we talked about coming over here to import in our settings, and we talked about importing things like muzzle flashes and how we don't need to resize those, even if they're smaller than our project format, because we're already going to be sizing those down most of the time anyway. And that's the first thing we're going to look at here. So right now we have this on do not resize smaller images, all right? Then we'll come in here to our muzzle flash. I'll just show you the size of this properties, and you can see this is 720 by 480, okay? Now our project is 1920 by 1080, okay? So let's go ahead and pull this in. We'll just import it. Again, we have this on do not resize, and we'll see what happens here. Okay, load it up into our source monitor here. And there it is. Again, this is a 720 by 480. We can cut it right into our scene. All right, let me turn off this other track here so we're not seeing those gunshots. And right there it is. And it looks fine. As you can see, the smoke is staying in frame, so that's not going to be a problem. It's not hitting the edge of the frame, which we'll see in just a minute with an explosion. So this works absolutely fine. Of course, we'd need to come in here because it's, you know, it's going the wrong direction, of course. Come into our 3D warp, as we did in the last video. We could, of course, scale it down, but first I want to rotate it about 180 or so. Okay, and then put it into position. We'll say that's fine. And again, we did not resize this, and it looks fine. It's actually way too large, so we'd have to scale it down even further to make it a little more, you know, realistic. All right, and then boom, the smoke looks just fine. It's not going out of frame. Everything's fine. Cool. All right, now what if instead we imported this? Again, we'll come back to import, and this time we'll do resize image to fit format raster, hit okay. Let's go ahead and pull this in again. Okay, and here it is. And now watch when I load this up into our source monitor. You see the difference? See how that's scaled way up? And just so we can show this, I'll come back to import, and this time we'll do image size for current format. And I'll just pull this in again. I'm going to import it this way. Load that into source monitor. Now look here, this is image size for current format. You can see how that really scaled it up. This here is to fit the raster, and this here is do not resize. All right, so as you can see, those options make a huge difference. You can see how it's getting stretched here whenever we use the image size for current format. So we can cut this into our scene, no problem. All right, so we'll just pop it right over here. And now you can see it's right here. So now it's, you know, now it's really, really large. So we definitely have to scale this down and of course, we have to come in here and rotate it around. I'm not going to do that. This is just to show you that we really have to scale that way down whenever we size up something small like a muzzle flash. And there's no reason to resize it because, again, the flash isn't going out of frame. The smoke isn't going out of this frame here. So it's, it's not a problem. All right. So that's what I mean by you do not need to resize those smaller images like muzzle flashes most of the time. Now, if, for example, it's like this muzzle flash where it has this uh, casing coming out, then this here is do not resize. As you can see, there's a casing and then it just disappears. So that might not look good. It may be okay if you have it over, you know, positioned over in the corner of the screen. You may want to import it with image size for current project. So then it disappears just fine. Or then again, you could always import it like this and just scale it up. Kind of up to you there. All right, so that's just a quick addendum and real quick let me show you some times when you'll definitely want to uh, import larger or you know you're at least gonna have to scale up so look at this here details 720 by 480 again this explosion we'll go ahead and pull this in now this is image size for current format remember that okay and there it is that's image size for current format so it got scaled up so now we'll come to import and we'll go to do not resize right there Okay, and there that is, and that's definitely not going to work. And again, just so we have it, we'll come back to import and go to resize image to fit format raster. And we'll pull it in like this. Okay, and there that is. So again, that was the resize image to fit format raster. We already imported with the image size for current format and the do not resize. Okay, so look here. This is image size for current format. This is to fit the raster. You can see how it gets stretched out to 16 by nine. This is more four, three here. And this here is do not resize. Okay, so let's look at this real quick. Let me get rid of this. 
just get rid of that. And we'll pop this in. We'll just pop it in. Okay, and of course it's taking up the entire frame, so we'd have to uh, key that out real quick. Grab a key, we'll grab good old spectrum mat, just throw it on here, pop open, and we'll just get rid of this. There we go. And I'm actually going to save that so I can reuse it. And of course, you know, this isn't going to work having do not resize the smaller image for a few reasons. Now we can actually scale this up, no problem. So come down here to scaling. We can scale it up. Of course, I'd probably want to lock the aspect ratio first. And now it, you know, it might work, but we, as you can see, we had to scale it up. So we might as well just import it already scaled up. And that works, you know, it works okay. Pull it down, you know, we can always do things like crop, crop out all the black parts. Start cropping it down. Okay, and then we can move it around because maybe we just want the explosion at the bottom. But then we're still going to have a problem. As you can see, see that smoke right there? You can see it's going out of the frame. So that's that's just going to be a problem. If we instead use, say, something that was larger, we'll just pop this right over top of that one. And then we'll just go back to our spectrum mat that we created a minute ago and just pop that on there. And now, again, we still have a problem, but as you can see, it's sized much larger already. So we don't have to scale it up as much. We still can't use it the way we want, maybe just a small explosion down here. In that case, we would really just need to get a different clip that's not going out of frame. So once again, we'd really have to scale this up to actually make it work. So about that size there, you know, it'd work okay. As you can see, there's our explosion. And then there we go, it looks, looks fine. And then if we go to this one here to import to our current session settings to our image size for current format, we'll pop that one in. Again, we'll just grab the spectrum mat that we created a minute ago. Again, we're gonna have to do a little bit of sizing just because of how this is shot. And by the way, you can go to detonationfilms.com and get some free effects like this. Again, we're, we'd have to scale it up just because of how it was shot right about there. And then it should look okay. As you can see, as the smoke goes out of frame, it's just fine. We're not getting, it's not getting clipped off. Boom. Okay, so that's the point I was trying to make when I was saying when you import muzzle flashes, as we saw, there's really no need to make those larger unless you have smoke going out of frame, unless you have a casing going out of frame. You don't need to make those larger. And even if a casing or smoke is going out of frame, if, if you have it positioned close to the edge of the frame anyway, then again, you won't need to resize that because it'll be going out of frame, uh, out of the video frame anyway. So there's no reason to resize those smaller things. But with the explosion as an example, then as you can see, we definitely would need to uh, import at a larger rate or we'd end up having to scale it up for it to look even halfway decent. Okay, and all of this stuff applies to importing everything, importing graphics, no matter what you're importing, pay attention to these image size adjustments. If you import something and it's not quite looking right, if it's looking stretched out, maybe try one of these other ones like resize image to fit format raster instead of image size for current format, or if you don't need it to be resized, use do not resize, okay? All right, so just keep those import settings in mind whenever you're importing your muzzle flashes, explosions, or anything really into Avid Media Composer.